and welcome to the latest FI15 football conditioning training. As we know, there's lots of different components uh, to exercise, your cardio fitness, uh, strength, balance, coordination, etc. But when we look at football and most sort of sports, whether it's team sport or individuals, a big element of the fitness is also to do with your ability to change direction, to move fast, to balance, to stabilize. Uh, so what we're gonna to do today is a session on what we call SAQ. Speed, agility, and quickness. So a lot of it's to do with balance, it's about being able to move your feet quickly, about changing directions, etc. <laughs> As always, we're gonna start with a warm up. So make sure you've got enough space. Make sure you're not going to kick anything over or fall into anything. You don't need any equipment other than yourself uh, and just the space around you. So to start with, I just want you to start to get warm. Now, you know, most of you probably know how to do this. You know, start things like squats, lifting the knees up, starting to twist the body so we get some work uh, through the spine into the trunk. Gradually getting higher. Bring the arms up by the temples and twist across. Think of bringing the knee up rather than going down. That's it. Start to jog on the spot, nice and light through your feet. So just keep that going for a while. And start to give me a few little side shuffles just to one side then the other. While we're doing this, we're gonna be doing eight different exercises today. Four of them are based around uh, speed, agility, and quickness. Each one of those we're gonna do for 40 seconds, 20 seconds recovery, and we're gonna do each one twice. And we're gonna intersperse the SAQ type exercises with some work for the core, because that's really important, again, for balance and stabilization. So hopefully you're feeling a bit warmer. and we're ready to go into the workout. The first set is a squat-based movement. So feet outside shoulder width. Turn the T's out, T's, the knees out slightly, so that when you bend down and sit back into that squat, the knees track in line with the middle of the foot. So from the side, try and keep the body up right here. We want to avoid tipping forward. And we're gonna start off nice and easy, but we're gonna progress into a little jump where it's gotta be continuous movement. As you're landing, absorbing by bending the knees, making sure those knees push out down with the middle of the foot. So, 40 seconds. Here we go. Just start with a squat, then gradually start to add a little jump in here. Remembering as you land, bend the knees so you're absorbing it through the big muscles in the thighs. Try and come down so your butt's level with the back of your knees. Start burning a little bit in the quads, maybe. Good, 15 seconds to go. If you need to at any point, just miss a few jumps. Just do a few squats so you keep moving, then join back in. Come on, five seconds. Can you get a little deeper? Good, recover. All right, so you should feel quite a bit of heat in your legs now. That's 20 seconds total recovery. And we're going to do that one more time for 40 seconds. So ready to go, five seconds. Set your feet shoulder width, and away we go. Good, the key, as you get tired, you'll start to try and save the burning in your legs by tipping forward. Don't, just try and stay up right here. Yeah, keep the chest lifted, drive through the heels, squeeze your butt launch yourself into the air. Come on, 20 seconds left. Keep it going, remember the landing. Try not to let the knees come in, that'll be a natural tendency, push them out. Keep everything strong. Five seconds. Whoa. Well done. All right, now we're coming down to work the core. It's called an inchworm, stand in. Slight bend in the knees, come down to the floor, walk out, hands in line with the shoulders, but slightly wider. Do one push up, walk back, stand up. 
Next time you go down, you do two push-ups. Next time, three. Add one on each time, you've got a minute. See how far you can go. Come down, walk out, hands in line with shoulders, weight forward, one push-up, walk back. Done. Two push-ups. Keep it going. Now when you're doing the push-up, really important that you brace your abs. Keep the back in a nice straight line. How many have you got to? Keep going, just keep listening. So on the push-ups, try and bring the shoulder down level with the inside of the elbow. So we're working the muscle through a bigger range. How many have we got to? Remember, long straight line. Make sure the weight's forward. So your chin is in front of your fingertips. If it's behind, you're probably in this sort of position. That's not working here as much or the chest. So you've got another 10 seconds and that's your minute. How many have we got to? Can you get one more in? Remember this, so next time you do it, try and beat it. Well done. Whew. Okay, 30 seconds to recover. We're back to that SAQ, speed, agility, quickness. You need space side to side. All we're gonna do is go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, hop and hold. Pump your arms, and I wanna see that little hold so we're developing balance. Start off easy, get the movement. As you get confident with it, So it's like dropping into a single leg squat. And then you're balancing there with the chest lifted. One, two, three, one, two, three. Keep that going. Don't forget that little hold for about half a second. Then bang, 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 bang. Go on, can you go a little faster? 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Use your arms to drive the legs. They're all linked. One, recover, well done. Whew. I'm gonna do that again. Just remember, it's about speed this. If you pump the arms, that's gonna drive the legs. So speed, and then that little balance hold. You ready? Go. Can you pump your legs faster? You're going from a standing start, <laughs> you've got to chase the ball down. Go on, keep it going, 20 seconds. We're halfway there. Yeah, we're staying upright when we drop down. We're not tipping forward. It's what we want, we want to bend the knees to get the load into the leg muscles. Five seconds. Whew, good job. All right, working the core. That includes the muscles up the side here. So we're gonna work it all. Key, wrist is always directly under the shoulder. Plank position. Feet hip width apart, eyes down. Rotate onto the side. Shoulder over wrist. Come back and switch. Just control it. Side plank to full plank. Just hold each position about a second and then change. The key is when you rotate, try and move everything together. So your shoulders and your hips turn at the same speed together. When you're in the normal plank, shoulders are level, hips are level, body's in a straight line. And we just maintain that as we rotate. Come on, you've got 20 seconds left. All these core exercises are for a full minute. Hang on in there. 15 seconds. Well done. Well done. Five seconds left. Come on, keep it going. Ooh, well done. Ooh. Okay, don't know if any of you use these at training, but you know the speed ladders, floppy ladder. 
yeah? Rungs across, then you've got the side bits of the ladder. So once you imagine you've got one in front of you, it's called a T, think of a capital letter T. So from where you are, go forward, forward, out, out, in, in, back, back. Forward, out, in, back. Narrow, wide, narrow, back. Forward, wide, in, back. As you get used to the movement, you can speed it up. Now, if you've just been going with, let's say your left or your right leg first, switch to so the other one's going first for the last half. Forward, out, in, down. Forward, wide, narrow, back. Go on, how quick can you move the feet? Stay close to the ground, keep the knees bent. That'll help you get more speed. Three, two, one. Whew, 30 seconds, 20 seconds recovery. Then we go again. I want you to try and stay closest to the ground just by bending your knees and you'll find you can probably move your feet a bit quicker. Forward, wide, in, back. Capital letter T. Trace it out, cross it across the top, and trace it back down. Remember to alternate which leg leads. Can you go faster? Whoa. He's staying inside those rungs. Another 15 seconds. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Stay with it, stay with it. Five seconds. Good job. Back to the core. Focus in mainly on the obliques here, down on your back. Fingertips by temples, keep the elbows back, bring the knees up over the hips. All we're gonna do, opposite shoulder to opposite knee, stay up, twist. The more you lengthen the leg, the harder it becomes. Go. So start off with small pushes with the legs, Remember, opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Then start to extend the legs. Can you stay lifted in that position? So the abs are working all the way through. Stay with see. Open it out so you can emphasize the twist from the waist upwards. Shoulder to knee rather than elbow to knee. Good job. That's more than 30 seconds done. So keep it going. Come on, can you lift a little higher and stay up there? Keep twisting, keep extending. Good, 10 seconds. Hang on. One. Oh. All right, we're nearly there. I want you to think of the letter U, but inverted. So what you're gonna do, starting on one leg, balance. You're gonna hop forward, balance. Hop sideways, hop back. So you can see you've traced out a letter U. Yeah, so it's forward, side, back. Forward, side, back, forward, side, back, forward, side, back. If you draw a line every time you land, that's what you've got to focus on. 10 seconds. Nice job. Whew. Grab yourself a quick drink. Remember to keep yourself hydrated. I'm gonna do that again. This time, can you make the letter U a little bit bigger? Even if it's just one centimeter in length and one centimeter in width. Leap and land, leap and land, 
drive back. Make sure you don't fall into anything. Ask yourself, when I land, is my knee bending in line or is it collapsing in? If it's tending to come in, just try pushing out slightly to keep it aligned. 15 seconds to go. Good balance and stability, as well as changing direction. Last exercise. 15 minutes this takes. So it's either your last one or if you're feeling fit enough, you do it all again from the start, but this is one minute of mountain climbers. Hands on the shoulders, weight forward, abs braced. There. So the knee almost scrapes the floor and comes up towards the chest. So start off here. Remember, keep the weight forward so it's not back here somewhere. Bum down, knee scrapes the floor as you drive it towards the chest on the same side. So keep your butt down, keep your weight forward. Now, if you're ready, keep going. Can you take it into a run? Okay, make sure the weight stays forward though, that you're not pushing back, because that makes it easier. You've got 20 seconds left. Who's ready for a sprint? Who's gonna sprint the last 10 seconds? You ready? You marked, set, go. Go on, weight forward, grab the knees. Five seconds, push, push. Whew. So that's it guys. That's one circuit through, 15 minutes of work. Now, if you're feeling fit enough, by all means, Rewind back to the start, have a quick drink, maybe take another 30 seconds before you start again, and then just follow it all the way through. If you've had enough, that's perfect, that's fine. You can maybe do this every other day, or you know, it's up to you, fit it into and around your other training, just so you're not doing too much of the same thing on consecutive days. So that was it, speed, agility, quickness training. Like I say, it's gonna help with how fast you can move, your balance, your ability to stabilize and change direction. So just try that as part of your workouts. Remember, keep fit, stay safe. I'll see you soon.